just supposed to rip that in half to divide and conquer. Divide and conquer to supersize your business. Sharon else from here. And our idiom today is to divide and conquer. This is an idiom, an expression that's been around since ancient times. It, it comes from the military. Julius Caesar is credited with making it very popular and famous. I grab my, my magnifying glass, my giant magnifying glass, so I can see what I have to say because it's a pretty interesting idiom. Divide and conquer was originally used in warfare in the military to break up larger groups of people, larger armies and troops in order to overpower them, in order to manipulate them, in order to uh, maintain control of what the dominant party wanted to control. Now it's used in still in military, still in politics, still in in, uh, in business today. It's It's gone from meaning to divide and conquer conquer a group of people or a big organization like in military and politics to breaking up any task, any big task, any project into smaller pieces. And that is in alignment with today's get up and not get up and go, get your goals annual challenge where we're talking about taking our financial goal and breaking it into steps or smaller pieces, breaking it down so that we can achieve the smaller pieces and they'll lead then to us building and growing and supersizing our business or whatever it is we're setting ourselves for a financial goal. So Julius Caesar gets credit for this one. Uh, it's been around for 22 centuries. It's been applied and used as a strategy for warfare and for other types of situations. All we have to do is turn on the news or on social media and we can see examples of people trying to divide and conquer. And there's a couple of, of ways we can lead, right? We can divide and conquer. If we want to conquer the competition, we can try to break them up or we can try to pit them against each other, etc. That would be an example of dividing and conquering. But we can also unite and build. They're sort of polar opposites. We live in a polar universe. So I believe in uniting and building to achieve what I want in the world. But a lot of people find it easier to take the negative route and divide and conquer. Uh, probably had experiences with this. I know I personally have in both my personal and my professional life uh, over the, the decades that I've been in business. So think about this idiom today. Think about dividing and conquering. And let's think about it in terms of breaking tasks down into smaller pieces because I think that's a positive application of this particular idiom. Everything in life can be seen from a positive aspect or a negative aspect or a neutral aspect. Usually everything's neutral until we apply our meaning to it. So I like to apply the positive meaning to things because it makes life a whole lot more fun and it makes the world a better place, but you can do what you see fit. So share your comments below what you think of this particular idiom and expression. If you have a great story about uh, someone using divide and conquer in a way that helps supersize their business, share that too because then we can all learn from one another. All right, have an awesome day and I'll of course be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it to build and grow your business right now? Have a great day.